Hello, my CRT lovers. It's Florian from Colorvac talking, and in this video, we want to show you the regunning process of a first generation Delta tube. It's the A6311X. The American audience may recognize this as the 25A XP, which the A6 V originated from. This tube was the first to feature rectangle corners and was used in the first generation color TVs of Germany, like this lovely Nord Mendel Spectra Color 7000 we are doing today. So let's get into it. This shows Christian measuring the emission of the tube. Ja, eine Kanone ist schwach eigentlich, die. As seen here, blue is not feeling so well. As we started, we found a marking etched into the gun, made a long time ago by a factory worker. Greetings to Oki. Da. This is our machine for the glass welding of the neck of the tube. It's an original, industry-grade machine. It's not only historic for our company, and it's still doing its service today. Fitting the new gun into the new neck of the tube is a very critical step since it involves materials from different times and different locations with different compositions. Da fahre ich wieder hoch, ne? Mhm. Zum Glück. Ja. 20. And there you have it. The newest Delta Tube you could find in 2025. This always reminds me of that one scene in Revenge of the Sith. In this case, it's used to kill all the leftover molecules on the system gun. Die Halsspannung einstellen, 6,3 Volt. Tubes now activated and slowly building up emission. Der hat auch eine Systemerneuerung mit dem gleichen System. This is a special set made by my grandfather himself. Imagine a Delta gun, but only activating two cathodes and putting it in a black and white TV. That's VHF, ne? So hab ich das gemacht. Er hat jetzt zwei zwei Kathoden angesteuert, hat er jetzt. This will be our test chassis for the A63. The tube's looking pretty good now, so it looks like it's time to start. Yeah. 
Ja, sieht man das Bild. <lacht> ist ja richtig klasse. Ist die. So. Okay. Ja, und jetzt versuchen wir so mal ein bisschen. This is just the reapplying of the graphite on the tube since it's all been burned off in the high vacuum oven. Yay! Now we will get back to putting this into the nice Norton Mende TV. Now it's the first start in the original Nord Mende, but we are not really satisfied with how the picture looks. There were still some vertical issues in that time. So I got to work again, since naturally we redid the whole chassis before. There's some small clips of the work. We could also summarize this in a video very well. The main issue was the broken flyback. It's been sitting a long time or maybe it cracked even before when it ran. Yeah, you can see there's some really nice cracks in the insulation code of this. I did a vacuum sealing with some special epoxy adhesive. And there's the new isolation code of the flyback. Now that you've seen a summary of the electronic restoration process, we want to show you the adjustment of the convergence and of the tube itself. Since it's so to say a brand new tube, all the adjustments made before don't apply anymore and there's basically a whole new adjustment to be made. Since it's not one, but three cathodes in the tube right now, it's a whole nother game to adjust. Behind the TV it's me using all the different potentiometers to regulate all the different aspects of the image. Super! Zu dir nach Hause? Ja, der muss ja bei mir im Wohnzimmer sch So now let's see the final product. Super! Suited to this television set, we wanted to show the then Vice Chancellor Willy Brandt opening German color television in 1967. Germany will never forget this fail. In our dungeon full of CRT collectibles, we have this very unique marketing prop. It's probably the lightest tube you will ever see. Putting a light source in the end of the tube will light up the screen with whatever cartridge you put inside. It was my honor to present you this very unique restoration process. Thanks so much for watching.